Okay, well, let's go up this way. Or not! Hello. Is it gone? Did it skadoodle? It did not skadoodle. It is right there. Dude, I'm coming, okay? Cool your jets. The lock is very corroded and weak. Bash it with a hammer! Oh, or not. Um, how about, how about the hand drill? No. All right, well, guess we're not doing that. <clears throat> Fine. Game wants to be picky about how I open doors. No, no, I'm not off. Nobody's here. Nobody but the rats. It's dark. You can't see me. I'm invisible. Holy shit, I think I am invisible. See me. Well then. Let's see what's in here. Oh. But mother, I don't want to leave without you. Hurry, child. You must go. Find Gabriel, the outrider, and tell him to alert the king's men. Please, we don't have time to make the hole any wider. But... Someone is coming. Hurry. I'll cover the hole with the bed. Everything will be fine. I promise you. <coughs> so you got little goodies hide under here, huh? Oh! There's a hole. Well, don't mind if I do. Oh. Can I widen it with a hammer? No. Great. Okay, well I found the hole at least. Now I gotta make the hole bigger. I know someone who could do that. He's not here right now, unfortunately. Okay, what's down here? Okay. Um, oh, is this a different stairs? This is a different set of stairs. Robust padlock that is in good shape. Oh god, they're on my screen. Oh, that's gross. Oh, get off. Oh, I don't like it. I came from. Right, right, right. Okay. So, this door is locked. This door, have I not been in here? No, I haven't. Where is she? Where did she go? <laughs> no. I'll tell. I'll never tell you. You're just making oh. things worse. Look, this is no place for a young girl all by herself. She could be hurt or worse. There's no telling what horrors await down there. <clears throat> okay, awesome. Looks like I got this door open. Ooh, yes. 
Give me that oil! Oh god, I'm seriously low on oil right now. Okay. It's all good though. I can also use this over here. No, shut up. It's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Yes! Yes! Run, Daniel! Run for your life! Carefully treading the unknown land, he looked over his shoulder at his travel companions. The outrider touched the brim of his hat as a final farewell. <clears throat> Here I am, in a hole. Ooh, there's a mighty big hole. It's a mighty big hole. Which way do I go? Always go left. That was a bad decision. Never go left. I was wrong. Hello? Thank you. Terrible coughs. It's getting worse. It must mean the bad thing is near. Storage. There's always the good things in the storage room. Let's see what it is. Is it a dead end? Of nothingness? Cell area three. Kitchen. Storage. Want to go to the storage room. Take me there. Oh god, this place is huge. No you don't, buddy. Second of August, 1839. <laughs> I have arrived at the village of Altstadt. It's a haven in the midst of a vast forest and the last stop before my final destination. Castle Brennenburg. It's late in the evening, and the outrider, who has been with the coach since Bremen, advised me to wait until morning before I venture further. I've arranged for a bed at Der Müller, the village's only inn, and am now waiting for the sun to rise. I try to sleep, but as I close my eyes, I see the men who fell victim in London. My fear and shame forces me to witness the same scenes over and over. You should. They are dead. Because of me. Yes, they are. And it is all of your fault. Is he safe? Oh, well, shit. It's it is right there. Hello. Is it Soon gone? Be ready. Let there be enough time. I don't know what you mean by that. Oh, it's right there. Shh, we're just gonna close this. He escaped. Where is he now? I don't know. Alright, I got a glass jar. I don't know what I can use it for, but I got it. Ah, a bounty. Got so many tinder boxes, I don't know what to do with them all. Okay, hopefully that dude is gone. We're gonna hope and we're gonna pray because I think I need to get in that door. Right, okay, so I went to the storage area. Great. Fantastic. Padlock is locked in an excellent condition. Okay, well, I'm not getting through there. That must be uh, back to the southern area. Okay, looks like I can get in here. Let's just tread cautiously. Oh, or maybe there was just oil and tinder boxes. Perhaps. Perhaps I was mistaken. That's fine. Okay. <clears throat> right, now we need to go to the kitchen. The Colina. Well, first let's go over here just to make sure I'm not missing anything. Hello. Hello, 
badmans. Oh! You are a dead man. You are a very dead man. Yeah, I know, I'm out of oil. It's fine. I got lots. I got oil for days. Hello. Hey, anybody <laughs> help? Christ. I don't believe this. Why? I mean, why? What did I do to deserve this? I mean, it can't be. Do I deserve this? Uh, what probably not. Fault? Probably why not. I have to go in there. I don't go into burning houses. He should have known better. blabbing about, but you probably didn't deserve this, whatever it, it is. Third of August, 1839. I feel like I have fled the world and all its worries. Brennenberg is a majestic creation perched upon a forest-clad hill with towers reaching well above even the uh, highest pine trees. Huh. Following the winding road leading <laughs> to the gates gives the impression of discovering something forgotten. As if journeying with Marco Polo to the hidden Xanadu. Alexander, the Baron, is a peculiar but gracious man. He seems well versed in worldly matters and is not at all as eccentric as I assumed. My room is exquisite, and I'm confident that no hotel for miles could even hope to match it. As the sun sets on Brennenberg, its fairy tale varnish turns to an eerie gloom. Alexander's strange servants are never far away. They are a quiet lot, and their behavior could only be described as skulking. Uh, monstrous? Alexander creepy? Gonna eat my face, maybe? My as he puts it, it seems like I got here just in time. <sighs> you probably did. Okay. No, thank you. I'm in the corner. You can't see me. Oh, he is coming right for me. Okay, we're gonna go. We're gonna run. Run, run, juke him! Juke him! This son of a bitch just won't leave me alone. Jesus Christ. Okay. I think I outran him. Right. This is where I need to go anyway. Oh, God damn it! There's two of them. Okay. Yeah, we're not going that way. We're gonna go this way. Well, that guy's, that one's locked. That's blocked. Great. You're telling me I need to go that way. Hi. Yeah, I'm no, I'm no. I'm a perfect meal for your face. Can you go away, please? I need to get into the kitchen. <clears throat> okay, I think he's gone away. I don't know where on earth he went, but I think he's gone. Yeah. We're all peach keen here. So let's go to this here kitchen, see what we can find. I am hungry! Mama, I'm hungry! 4th of August, 1839. <coughs> the nightmares <clears throat> woke me in the early morning, and for a moment, I forgot where I was. Shortly after, there was a knock on my door. Alexander had heard my screams and asked me to join him in the parlor. As we drank our tea, Alexander began to tell me what he knew. It seems like the orb I found casts a long and dark shadow. It's not only a powerful item, but a dangerous one. Simply by touching it, you invoke the powers within, and if you are too weak to control it, <clears throat> it will devour you. The shadow is a sluggish thing lagging behind the wielder 
killing anyone or anything in its path to reclaim the orb. I said I didn't care about its powers and that I should throw it away. Alexander advised against this as I'd still be a part of the path to the orb and eventually suffer death. Having the orb, I would at least have the chance to fight back when the time came. I asked Alexander what he meant when he said he could protect me. And he answered that things can be done, but at a price. Your soul! Clearly, this is what he meant. We're gonna torture and murder people, and then I'm gonna eat your soul, because I'm a demon. <laughs> okay. Fire? I shouldn't touch the fire. It will burn me. We're just gonna close this. Sack the kitchen. There's some laudanum. Okay, clearly this is what I'm supposed to get. Here's a jar. Let's put it in there. Acid! Why are they cooking acid in the kitchen? No idea! All I know is that there's a horrible monster who wants to eat me. <clears throat> okay, but I think I need to go back to that, that padlock that was in good condition. Probably. Ooh, you got a nice little per bum there. Look at that bum. It's a cute bum. Mr. Monster Man. Okay. He's still skulking. He's a skulky bitch. Yeah, oh, I'm not looking at him, game. You don't need to... It's fine, it's fine. Everything's fine. It's all huggy dory. Still there! Can you disappear, please, like a good little monster? Please and thank you. Okay, we're right here. Okay. Right. So we've now been to the kitchen. We need to go over here, we need to burn that padlock off. And maybe we'll be able to leave this house of nightmares. This horrible house of nightmares. All right, I wanna go this way. Get her back. Get her back, who's her? Um, what is this? Two cistern entrance. Yes. Burn it off! Excellent. Okay. And now we wanna... Boop! Nope! I'm running! Bye bye, bitch! The dark towers of Brandenburg rose above the forest and were silhouetted against the snow white moon. He couldn't help feeling sad for some reason. Ha! I know you can't! I know you can't leave areas! I know you can't leave areas, you bitch. Ooh, this is cool. So you used the drain sewers as a means of transport? Yes, they were built to divert water from an underground spring and are quite spacious. It seemed wow. only natural to incorporate it into the overall structure. But we won't be using it. Not today. The flow is seasonal, and when the spring runs dry, the damp tunnels produce a rather poisonous type of fungi. Ooh. Gross. There is an antidote, of course, but we won't be bothering with it today. Come, this way instead. We're almost there. I don't suppose you're just gonna let me through this door, are you? Nope! It won't budge! Great! Sewer tunnels, here we come, I guess. Uh, and but we'll be doing that next time, because this is the next hub area. I did it, I did it, lads, I did it. My throat is killing me! So, uh, see you later. Go fuck yourselves.